Why not? Okay, uh, I sure hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, hit the like, subscribe, bell. Um, the links I won't go to for you. This is a swing a line. You've probably seen the ads all over your Instagram, YouTube, whatever feed you're into. Uh, this contraption has been everywhere. So they sent it to me, asked me to review it. So I'm going to do that for you now. Uh, I get nothing for this. They just sent it and said, hey, give us your thoughts. So that's what I'm going to do. Swing a line. Let's dive into this puppy, all right? What do I have here? Uh, this is the Swing Align Pro bundle, what they sent me. And right off the gate, right out of the gate, uh, I have to say it's on sale currently. So it's a great deal at $239 US. Yes, you heard me correctly. That's on sale price. So um, jump on it as quickly as possible before that uh, goes up. Anyways, I know, <laughs> all joking aside, it's a bit expensive. So it better be worth it. And I'm gonna let you know whether or not it is worth the hefty price tag. So what do you get with your uh, $239 investment into uh, Swing Align? You get this one, this piece, okay? This is for your arms, obviously. And uh, this elastic stretchy strap, um, you know, it will stretch a little bit. So it gives you a little bit of give as you swing in case you need that and you can adjust that a bit too. Um, you get the alignment stick and these detach. You could take these off and short, shorten them and use them for all kinds of other applications, all right? And then you also get the leg clamp as well for your thighs. I mean, good luck walking around in these. Ah, same type of deal, just a little bit bigger for your thighs. If you're really massive, they probably won't fit. But I'm regular, probably, in my legs, so they fit me fine. Now, if you're a little skinnier, they do, do give you a couple padded uh, inserts that you can add in here. Maybe if you have super massive arms, you could use the leg ones for your arms. So for men and women, maybe you need a little extra cushioning, kids or whatever, that's there. Uh, also with it comes uh, something for the ground. You can put this on the ground. On one side, you can screw these in if you wish to have something there. These can also screw in the ends of here, just like the other ones. For the 200 and $39, that's what you get. The question still remains is, what does it do and is it worth the price tag? So let's jump into actually what you can do with these things. And I'll give you my opinion as to whether or not I think you should invest your money. You, right now, it's not looking good, but we'll see. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of swing a line, all right? Let's, let's hit some shots. So recently I did a video on the top setup mistakes, top things we do that mess up our setup. And one of those things was your alignment. So I do consider alignment to be one of the most fundamental and key aspects in the golf swing. And if that's off, it does create so many swing flaws that uh, we have to do in order to compensate our to hit a shot. So alignment, in my opinion, is the most important thing you can do. And every time my swing is off, I go back and look at my alignment to see if that's the problem. So here we go. 
So put the leg piece on. So now you don't have to use them all together. You can use them individually, one at a time. That might be a better way to go, but uh, you can also use them all together. So this bottom piece on the ground, you know, that's just, hey, where are you aiming? What am I aiming at? So what I like to do, I have the trackman and everything set up to aim at that little T in the ground. So that's where my club face aims. And then I just want this, I don't want this to point also at the T because then my alignment would be messed up. So you want it to be just parallel. So just squared up to that. There you go. And then one of the things that gets off track in our game is our, is our stance. We get like this. So this looking down is a great way to see that, Hey, I'm off. So here we go. Oh, off again. There we go. Now my, at least my hips are aligned square to my target here. And then as I take it back, look, I can turn it and I can visually see a good turn. That I do like. I do like being able to see that. It's not that difficult to hit with it. And, I, and it also helps keep your knees in. Like you're not going to flail those knees out too much. It helps keep you a little connected and you can strap this down and tighten it down a little bit to help you even more if you want that. So maybe get it out, feel the connection, help pull your knees in, which I'm a big believer in. And I'll be honest, like I do feel pretty stable. I'm consciously thinking about my lower body when this is on. And it's a good visual, it's a good visual tool, okay. And then adding this should be interesting. You just slide it on your arms like so. There you go, now I got everything, okay? <laughs> now, you do look a little ridiculous. I don't know what you look more ridiculous, this or some of the other ones, but this is one of the most tin cup-like training aids <laughs> I've seen. So, but again, when you set up, you do want a good relationship between your shoulders and your hips. So let's say my, oh, that's good. And I'm here. And if, if I know my legs are good, which represents my hips, and then just looking at this, I can see that this is too far pointing to the left. Now this is just my normal setup. So I see a problem already. It doesn't match. So I have to do something. I know my legs are good. So, Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. Now, so that's interesting. That helps. That's helpful because I do, when I video myself, I do set up my shoulders open a lot. So I don't, I don't like that. This feels normal and that is square according to swing a line. There we go. I just dropped that right elbow back a little bit and it matches. I like that, but how can I hit a shot with this? It feels weird. Oh, that went pretty straight. I like that. Okay, 140 carry with my nine iron. That was a nice smooth swing too. I didn't really do anything special. As opposed to this is how I um, feel normal. Now this is not, this, the swing is not aligned, okay? Oh yeah, so. I, and I do that occasionally. I do pull them left. It's interesting. So let's see. Again, this is what feels comfortable to me. My legs are perfect on the, according to the ground one. And my shoulders are aimed left. So I got to pull that back. There you go. And all I do is adjust my upper body here. There. Feels weird. But I know I'm aligned according to swing align. Oh. Not easy to hit with it on. A bit right, but I'm getting good distance with that. With the swing line. All right. So as you can tell, like right out of the gate, I like to aim going this way. That's comfortable. We all have swing flaws. We all have things we need to work on. So for the initial usage of this, I'm pulling my right elbow back and I'm getting it lined up and I'm hitting 152 yard nine irons. 
for me, that's really good. Just smooth as can be. It's definitely helpful making sure I, I'm double checking everything. There we go. One more. Just feel that feels weird. I, I don't feel normal, but it looks perfect according to this. And that felt really good. Straight as can be. 147 total. Those are the shots I like. 15 foot putt on that. Okay. So initially just in setup, I think it does a fantastic job. I'll leave a link for the website for Swing Align in the video description below if you want to check it out. They have a number of different uses for this. A lot of which I think, you know, you, you, eh, doesn't necessarily apply, but they want to, it seems like they want to you know, give you a ton of options, which they're all fine. It's just, I think there's certain things that it's much better for than others. But for short game, again, get lined up square, perfect. And then just work on this, these pitch shots. Another thing it's really good for is seeing, visually seeing your rotation. So like if you're just swinging your, your hands, it's gonna be like this. You're not gonna see anything turning. But if it turns, great. And with other things too, you're gonna to see the difference between let's say your hip rotation and your shoulder rotation. You're gonna be able to visually see that with the sticks. There's a ton of things you can use this for. Putting is something that is good because you always want to make sure you're hitting it where you're looking. So alignment is gonna be key in putting, but mostly for your swing, it's great. So yeah, that was a pretty good rotation. I felt pretty good. Yeah, 149, nine iron, club path is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, face angle, uh, three feet right of the center. Here's what I would say. I think a co all coaches should have this. And what I would do is I would have a, I would coach four or five people at a time and I would have one person working this, somebody else working something else and so on and so forth and have everybody rotate. So if you're working with a coach, I would say all coaches should have swing line to help their students line up and visually see what's going on. Each person, unless it's something that you really, really, truly struggle with, I think it's a little high of price. So I, I might stay away from it and, but it does help. So you gotta weigh, you know, you gotta, if you can afford it, cool. Again, we're golfers, we spend a lot of money where we shouldn't and we probably don't need new drivers every year and stuff like this is cool. I would not use this at the range. I would use it at home in a net more often than not, but it is a cool product. So I would say golf coaches should have it. All the rest of us should find a golf coach that has it among other things and work with them that way. All right, that's my thought. It's a little high price. Check the website, see if it's something that's right for you. Love you guys. Good luck out there. See you in the next video. I had a good shot without it. Huh. Not quite as good. That one's four feet away. Hmm.